Outside, we're going to start the morning in Chandler. The sun comes up in about 45 minutes and it's setting around 7 p.m. So later and later. That means we're receiving more sunlight and in turn more heat in our daily heat budget. And that means our temperatures are going to start to climb. Now today they're going to be down a little bit because a weak little cold front is going to sweep through the state. 65 in Gilbert. Most of us in the 60s out there this morning. 60 in Surprise. 60 in Glendale. 61 over in Fountain Hills. Good morning to everybody up in Window Rock and the Navajo Nation. We're in the 40s there. 47 in Winslow. 54 in Prescott. 62 in Gila Bend and 61 in Yuma. So there's a little bit of cloud cover and rain Radars trying to put a little rain down, a couple of snowflakes. This really isn't going to amount to much if it's even making it to the ground. Sometimes radar just senses moisture in the atmosphere and it's not actually making its way through the uh, atmosphere column, as we call it. Wind advisory for today and tomorrow for Flagstaff, the Rim, Apache, Navajo counties. Coconino County and parts of the White Mountains. That's where we're going to see the gustiest conditions up to 50 mile per hour gusts possible. So keep that in mind. It's going to be quite windy today. We're already seeing those winds activate in Flagstaff 17 mile per hour winds. As far as the valley goes, not too bad right now. A little bit of a breeze here and there. They really pick up though later on in the afternoon where we could see gusts around 20, 25 miles per hour. So 74 at 10 a.m. 80 at noon and then 87 for your high today, about five degrees cooler than yesterday. Here's a cold front right now. All the juice is up in uh, Colorado and Utah, these purple and pink colors. So we don't get much. We're just kind of on the southern end of that moisture. So that's why we're not expecting rain. Cold front goes through next couple of days, but then for Wednesday and beyond, high pressure starts to build in behind it. So we're going to get this dome over us when we're under a ridge of high pressure. Air starts to sink, it gets compressed, and as it's compressed, it starts to heat up. That's why we see warmer temperatures with high pressure. The molecules are actually compressed and bumping into each other, and that creates heat. It's kind of wild. 87 and breezy for today, 83 and breezy tomorrow, 86 for Thursday, 88 on Friday, and back to those 90s for Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. We will be dry for the next seven days in Phoenix.